the they're so kick ass I love them I don't know why I love them but I love them that's a croc that one right there not even special 448 and Ada is basically a dollar come here come on quit don't be fucking with that old lady quit it look that one's got a steak in his mouth and a hat on and a robe. This one is the one. Oh, seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred dollars. He's very cool though. And if you have these, you have like opportunities to get land in the metaverse. That's the thing. Look at that one. He's awesome. That one's Jeffy's. Oh my God, that is Jeffy. Jeffy, thousand Ada, and you can have this. I still don't know if you can use these on like a t-shirt, so we gotta figure that out. Let's just go down here to the cream of the crop, the most expensive one. A freaking ten thousand dollars. See, they get out of control. It gets out of control. I don't understand this to be totally honest with you i don't understand it that one's sick so if you're into crypto game and you're into nfts these things are pretty much my favorite wow that one's sick seven hundred dollars though maybe the price will drop and we'll get one who knows but i didn't know they were that expensive let's see if there's any cheap ones the cheapest one. See, I can't buy them just the cheapest one. Even though that one's really cool. For $300, though. Alright, so yeah. So that's a croc. And you get them at this place. I'm sure there's other places you can get them. But I think that's the secondary market. Because they've already been dropped. So you can't get a new one. You can also do what's called... Uh, what do they call it? Uh, you can so you can get on that website and if you have like multiple crocs you can send them to crocs and like some money basically the ada that's their currency uh you can send them that and then you can mint your own mint that's what i was trying to think of so i guess that means now obviously i can't do that but i think that means that you can take two of them and create your own which just for some reason makes me smile. I don't know why, but every time I think about it, I'm like, that's cool. And I get that. So that's like, that's the kind of stuff I want to invest in. I don't want to be in some normal 401k. If you're at all interested in something, just do it. Don't fair because we're back. Same day, different video, YouTube. Went, and we just started over. I'm going to, this camera is on its last leg. I got to tell you. The, the, can you, hold on, we'll see if we can. If you get the light just right, you can really see the dust in the lens. It's hard for me to see it. But I see it when I'm on my computer. It's disgusting. We got this one grounded and we got that one grounded. So now we're going to hook the battery up, hope it don't catch on fire, and try to start it. Let's go. Lead it. So in all reality, I'm just trying to hear it crank, you know. Like so many times that it... I was saying, hey, there's a battery in here. I thought we got lights. That's a good sign. Oh, I forgot how good the seat felt. Oh my. So far, no fire. Oh God. The fuel pump sounded like it drew down, but it, I hear everything. I have lights, I have no fires, no sparks. Here we go. I don't have to hear it start. I don't have to hear it start. I don't have to hear it start. I want it to start though. Please start. That is a cold, cold, cold start. I've never done it in one crank before. Clutch doesn't feel too bad either. She sounded way better than last time. All right, but we're gonna cut it off. I don't need to do this. Whew, 
she runs. That's a great feeling. It's never fun having a project car sitting in your garage that you're like, does it run? Did I do it right? Is there something else wrong? It's not gonna be long, my friend, I promise. We're gonna get the body kit, or that I would call it, put back on. Oh yeah, I see it. Every time I'm down here, I see this. So I gotta get another one of these because my intercooler and um, I think it was a sewer lid or like a little, it wasn't actually a sewer, but it was like, like one of those like tiny sewer lids that's in the middle of the street. I think it's probably like a, a valve line or a valve hole. But yeah, we made contact and it was not pretty and it sounded horrendous. I'm also trying to get this, we're trying to, I'm trying to figure out something to do with this. Like maybe I could, I work at a machine shop and I could probably either have like a piece of steel cut that would go under this and like come up into this wing to make it stronger, like a support, which is probably what I should do. I was also thinking about maybe put laying some fiberglass on top of this and like making them one so it was stronger. I don't know what else I could do. Or I could just put them back on it like that and say, YOLO, let's do it. It's not that I don't like them. I love the way they look, but they kind of like, when you're going real fast, you can kind of see them moving if, when I'm trying to get rolling shots. So I don't really like that. The back and the front are perfect. I just haven't quite figured out the side skirts just yet. I really want something like this. I don't want like a traditional side skirt. I just want like a, I don't even know what you call it. Like a, I don't even know what they're called. Just like a piece of carbon fiber just sticking out it's from the bottom. That's what I call it. Those Cardano Crocs, they are so kick ass that obviously they're too expensive for me to buy. Because the video I watched, or when I heard they were coming out, they were like a hundred, which I thought was outrageous. And I was probably gonna buy one at a hundred or even like 200, but 200 was on the max of my list. 300's kind of like pushing it. Now say the Cardano drops down to 50 cents, your boy's gonna be snatching them up. That's pretty much how I feel on the Cardano NFTs. There's another cool one, these like cats, the cats are cool. I've seen a couple other ones that I like, but I'm not big on the crypto punks or cyber punks or whatever they're called. I think they're crypto punks. I don't like those. They're the, there are some Ethereum ones that I've, I've seen. There's some things called like eight bits and they kind of look like old Nintendo characters like a Mario character. Those are kind of cool. Those are cheaper. They're in the 200 range, which is like still like more than I want to spend, but I would like at least be willing to spend that on something I thought might appreciate and I could use as like a logo or just other things. Um, what was I going to say? There was, oh yeah, there's these, the, but the new one for Cardano I saw and I don't like this. The first thing I saw about Cardano that I really don't like. I love how they're openness, they like dox their whole team where the, they introduce the whole team, which I like that. Cause some of these crypto things, you don't even know who the, these people are. Like, I like to know who I'm investing in and what their mission is and what we're trying to accomplish. I don't want to just throw my money at the Microsoft thing, even though I think it might make money. The engine took coin is like, Microsoft is big in that. I personally haven't bought any just cause I don't even like, I, I bought other, crypto gaming coins and I like this this one uh, UFO UFO coin UFO token or coin I don't know I think it's token check them out super cheap $40 will get you a fucking million of them and if it goes to a dollar just imagine how your life would be now there's a good chance it might not but if it did at say UFO gaming be becomes the next really awesome thing and then and you bought stock in it four months into the program and you get it for cents on the dollar and you say you buy if if you put sixty dollars into UFO, ufo coin today it would give you i'm pretty i'm pretty sure you get over two million over two million ufo coins now there is a there is a process to buying the, that token if you want me to talk about that i could definitely do that or you can just look it up yourself but to get, if you got your hands on some UFO coin today, which I personally have, so it's not, I'm not like promoting this cause I, and, and there, we'll get into that. All high waters raise all the boats or high water raises all the boats, whatever the fuck that is. But let me get back to it. Cause I get off track and I know this is a 
three minute video already. I'm trying to squeeze some crypto into cars, but I don't want this to be all cars and all crypto. And now it's like weird. It's already weird, but who cares? Anyway, what the fuck was I saying? Oh no. I got too many projects to pay for with this day job that I got. That's why nothing gets done around here. Because we're working with pennies here. We need to work with dollars. Dollars, 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 dollars. Dollars. And then, when we get a chance, dollars again. Because it just never stops around here. You think you get done with one and you can start on another. And you think you get done with that one and you can start another. But never happens. Something happens here and something happens there. And then you never get over there. It's just how it works around here. So we need some Shebas. We need some Shebas to be the dollar. Because that's what I was talking about before. Even though I don't like Sheba, Sheba's Sheba is one that's very popular. So we'll just talk about the Shebas because the Shebas are on the same wavelength as the UFOs. If you put $50 in the Sheba right now, you get a million of them. And if Sheba goes from whatever point zero 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 whatever zero two of a dollar to a dollar, and it can do that like in a month if 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 people believe or if something happens, the government decides, oh, you know what? We're just gonna roll with Sheba. Sheba it is, or if or if Saudi Arabia decides Sheba's our new currency, Sheba would go outside of the moon into another fucking universe and you'd be sitting on a million Shebas for $50. Okay, so that's just my pitch on that. So I don't see why you wouldn't. I've, I've wasted $50 in a matter of 50 seconds on some crazy bitch at a bar. And what I probably didn't even get anything out of it. You know what I mean? There's plenty of times I didn't even get anything out of it. So this is money well spent. And in the future, me and Briggs, Ludi, and everybody else that comes along we're going to have a party with the Shivas at the moon. Oh, I just remembered. There's a metaverse that's called Moon. Or no, no, no. Mars. What's it called? Mars Colony. Look it up. Check it out. Because I got to go do my thing. But we're going to talk about this in the next one. So check out the Mars Colony. And then and, and, and we're going to build a comedy club and let Paul go to town and do all kinds of crazy shit when we do that. All right, bye-bye. Got to go. Bye. See you. Bye. To the streets. <laughs>